about to dye my hair. But I wanted to show y'all how everything turned out. I'm so excited about what we are about to do, so. sitting down to have my tea it's still pretty hot working on some TV wallpapers look this one is like my favorite right now it's like an oil painting but it's got the Disney castle Cinderella's castle in the back I love that <laughs> it makes me so happy also I don't know if this is part of getting older or what but I've become a person that sleeps with my socks on like <laughs> I've done this like two times now and both times I sleep so good. I put castor oil on my feet and I started doing this for like cracked heels. I put castor oil on everything. We'll have to talk about that some other time. Maybe in this video, we'll see. I was doing castor oil on my heels for my cracked feet and cracked heels, <laughs> cracked feet. <laughs> and I put socks on after and then I just go to sleep. And both times I've done that, I've slept so good. I'm like, am I becoming that person that sleeps with their socks on? And you know what? It actually helps a lot. Like, I wish I had done a before, but I'll do this like once a week. Ooh, like I do it all the time. Like I said, this is my second time doing it, but I've only done it like I did it a week ago and then last night. And it really helps a lot. All right, guys, we are in my bathroom. I'm about to dye my hair. I've been dyeing my hair on my own since uh, we left Savannah because obviously like when you're traveling around um, full time, you're not making appointments to have your hair done. And uh, since we got back, I've just been doing it on my own since then. Um, I went and got it done like as soon as we got back in the States. But then after that, like I've just been doing it on my own because uh, it's so much cheaper. For these two boxes that I use, it was $18 total. So um, this is the one that I use from Garnier or Garnier Nutrice, um, and it's 111 Extra Light Ash Blonde, and normally I need two boxes. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that dyeing my own hair is nothing new to me. I've been dyeing my own hair, gosh, I think I remember the first time I did it was like the year after Justin and I got married. It might have been the year we got married. So I've been dying it since then. And so like the whole time we lived in the trailer, I did a lot of videos on like how to dye your own hair blonde, how to dye your hair pink, how to dye it 
um, brown. And um, even when we lived in our second house that you guys saw on YouTube, I was dyeing it a lot there too. So nothing new to me. Let's go ahead and get started. So I just took my hair down. I was gonna show y'all like my roots. So that's what we're looking like right now. And really like when I do my hair now, I don't, I used to take it all the way to the ends and uh, just dye the entire thing. Now I really just focus on the roots. Um, and I, I think that's because I've gotten it to a point where it is this color down here at the bottom and I just really need to touch up. So I'm gonna do that. I kind of just start at the roots and I'll actually start with all of this like back here, like I'll, you'll see, I'll pull my hair up and that way I can focus on all of this under here first and then I move my way up to the top. So I'm just mixing up my bottles here. I like to go ahead and do them both at the same time. That way if I have, you know, hair dye all over my gloves, I don't have to like do the next one too. So I've got the first one I'm shaking up, but you know what? I'm just kind of having like a full circle moment right now because I just realized I started dyeing my own hair and I looked up on YouTube how to dye your own hair blonde and I came across Anna Sacconi's video. Y'all know, like back in the day, like when I first started YouTube, like that was the person that I, I loved to watch and I loved their family vlogs. We had both, like our two kids, like her first two kids, we had our kids at the same time. Um, and so I watched a lot of her pregnancy updates and stuff. I don't really keep up with them now, but back then I just, I really enjoyed watching. I found her video on how to dye your own hair blonde and then just found their family vlogs from there and I'm like, if I had never looked that up, would I have ever watched them? Would I have ever found them? Would I have ever started my YouTube channel? So I have brushed my hair. I hope y'all can hear me because I'm talking the other way, but I've brushed my hair and I've pinned it up and I only have this down. So this is what we're going to start with and this is kind of hard to film. I can't stay backwards, but I'll try to keep you guys updated. Okay, so I'm gonna put my gloves on. And I won't be able to touch the camera after that, so. We'll see what happens. Okay, so just opening this up, and then I'll take about that much. And then I grab half the hair and I just start working it into the roots. And you'll kind of know, like if you're trying to do this, you'll know because you'll feel it on your skin. And I just like to do it like up here on top and then I'll do another one over here on the bottom. And then I'll just try to like massage that in. Let's see. Let's see if I can get it focused that much. So a good bit. And I just push that in. Because even if you're working with bigger pieces of hair like this, if you're doing that much dye, I feel like it's a lot easier because um, if you just go ahead and, and get all the hair dye on there, then you can kind of mash it in and like work it in to the pieces of hair. If you're not wanting to dye your own hair, I'll make sure I put like little chapters up here on the screen so you, if you're not into this you can just totally skip it but you can see i went in with the roots got all of that dye massaged in and then i'm just kind of lightly pulling down on it but i'm not going to like take another big clump of hair dye and work it through like i used to that's all you need it's just just the root. So now I'm gonna do the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and do the back side on this one first. And you know what? I might not even need a whole lot more because I got a lot in there this time and I'll be able to work that through. Wish I could show y'all how I'm working it through. So 
So that's basically how I do it. And now I'll just continue to take bits and pieces down from the back and work my way all the way up. And I do it, I like to do it this way because if I'm gonna have blonde sitting on my hair for a while, if it goes too blonde, I would rather it be a place that you're not going to see a whole lot. You don't want this to get messed up. Like you want this to have like the perfect amount of time that it's being dyed because this is what everybody's gonna see. So anyway, you kind of get the gist of it. I'm just going to take the next part down, which I'll show you guys. Kind of already have it ready. So I'll just take that part down, flip the rest up. Okay, I've got hair dye all on my camera because I'm trying to film this, but at this point you can see I've got half of it done. So I have half up here, still hasn't been dyed. But then at this point, I like to just kind of take my fingers like this and massage through like you would if you were shampooing your hair. Once I get this all dyed, it's going to be harder to kind of reach through here because it's all, you know, going to have the hair dye on it and be really thick. So I like to just kind of massage through just like you would shampoo. That way I'm making sure I'm getting it all in the roots everywhere. Let's see if I can turn around and give you guys a better shot of what I'm doing. So I feel like I've gotten it pretty good. Now we're gonna move on to the rest. All right, so I've got all of my hair done now. And I'm just like massaging it through right here, up at the top, make sure I got, got it all in my roots. And then, you know, I don't like to like have it slipped back because then you can't really see like what it's doing that good. So when I pull it up just to get it out of the way for the next 20, 25 minutes, I like to just kind of separate it that way I can keep an eye on how it's looking. And I look crazy, I know. But I've just kind of like separated the roots. That way I can just see what it's doing. And I'll just take my clip, clip it up, and then we'll wait for the next, I'll probably do like 25 minutes. So I just got out of the shower, did my hair and makeup and everything, but I wanted to show y'all how everything turned out. Uh, I'm struggling with this camera in the mirror, but that's how everything looks. It's seriously so easy to do. And that box dye never steers me wrong. I've never had it mess up using that box dye. And back when we lived in the trailer, I think I would use number 93, so it was a little bit darker. Um, and this is one of the brighter ones, but it doesn't go orange or anything like that. Like, I don't know what it is, but this one never steers me wrong. And also I don't feel like my hair is like drying out or anything. Still feels really healthy. So yeah, if you're looking for a good box dye, give that one a try. So yesterday when I was cooking, I realized our spice drawer really needs to be cleaned. Like I was taking stuff out and you can see like there's spices and even rice. <laughs> down in here. So I'm going to go ahead and take everything out and wipe this down, get it all cleaned up, and then put it all back in. And as I'm going through all of it, I'm also going to look at the dates and see if anything is expired. We also have some other shelves down here too that I just kind of want to clean up. You say you don't Get in trouble that you don't find cause you got me I don't want to break your little bubble but you gotta wake up to reality cause I can see in your eyes your head is full of dreams tears are a proof of failure you just gotta let The other day when 
I was cleaning up in the laundry room, I found some more of these liners. So I'm gonna go ahead and line that, but we got these when we moved in and we did most of the cabinets, but I guess we just never did the spice cabinet. So better late than never. You gotta go get it for yourself. Cause I can see your eyes, your head is full. Feel like it's so good to go through your spices occasionally and just anything you have in general the best thing about organizing to me is finding things that you forgot you had like i was about to buy new pepper because i thought this was the only one we had because it was just up here at the front and this is the one that i'm always grabbing but the other two were more towards the back and i almost put this in my grocery order not only do i still have some of this but i also have some more here too and I found some, what was it? Oh, the sesame seeds I have two of these and I can actually just go ahead and combine this one in here because there's room in this bag. And then I think I have two things of ginger back here too. So it just reminds you what you have and that's really nice. You are like me. the second shelf and all the rest of them and I was like okay I need to cut a liner out and I was like why didn't I just take this liner and use it like as a, a guide to do the rest of them <laughs> I'll definitely do that now but I definitely wasn't thinking about that to do today is clean out the junk drawer got lots of stuff in here that needs to be put away where it actually belongs and then also my Monica closet also a mess all of this really needs to be organized and I have this little thing in here that does help me organize but yeah we need to clean these two spaces
I am so excited about what we are about to do. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but our refrigerator has scratches all over it. And it was like that when we moved in, but the refrigerator works. And so we're like, we don't exactly want to get a new refrigerator. So what should we do? And so we've kind of been brainstorming about that and we finally figured out what we want to do. So this is stainless steel peel and stick wallpaper, basically. And let me show you the refrigerator. It's kind of hard to tell because it's stainless steel. So you get, it's like a mirrored look. So <laughs> I don't know if you guys can really tell how scratched up it is. It's definitely hard to get it on camera. Maybe if I stand back here, you'll be able to see it a little better. Yeah, I feel like you definitely can, but it's even worse in person. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put this stainless steel peel and stick paper on it. So I thought this would be fun to share because if you have a refrigerator that isn't stainless steel, like maybe it's black or white or something, and you want the stainless steel look, then just get this. I think it was like, what was it? Like $25 on Amazon, babe? Yeah, it was like $25 on Amazon or something. I'll link it for you guys. Our plan is to just lay it on there. Well, first I'm gonna clean this off. That way we have a clean surface. And then Justin said we should be able to take the handles off and then we'll be able to lay the peel and stick paper on there and then just kind of cut along here where we need to. stick that's always a pain because it can create you know little gaps or something but whenever I pulled it off and look there's a little Phillips head on there so I'm pretty sure I can just grab a screwdriver and unscrew the stud off and it'll just be a hole and that way I'll just be able to run this thing straight to the bottom and won't have to work around anything and then it sticks back really well. There's like no residue or anything. Oh, there's no residue on the back yeah, side or anything? Yeah, remove it whenever you want to. Awesome. This is such a good hack for like renter friendly people too, because you know, if there's no residue, you, like you're not messing up the refrigerator or anything like that. So good hack for renters.
here where it didn't get cut exactly right. And so we're gonna go ahead and order some more and just redo that door. But this door is perfect. Yeah, aside from that one back spot, up I mean, the rest of it looks good. It, it looks mean, amazing. Yeah, like you'd have to walk right up there on it and put your hand on it to know that it was not the original stainless steel. Yeah, for real. I mean, yeah, you would almost think that it was. It looks so good, babe. But yeah, we'll go ahead and order another roll of it. And then when that comes in, um, we'll just take this sheet off and put the other one on. But didn't know when that was gonna come in, so we just went ahead and finished the job. And then we'll fix this later. I can't get over how amazing that looks. Like, I just yeah. keep looking at it like, oh my it's gosh. way better than all the scratches and scuffs that oh. like were in it. <laughs> yeah, 100%.